Hi, this is a walkthrough for exercise 2-2, uh, number 4, in the Alice book, um, page 60. It's the circling fish. Uh, so, let's get started by starting Alice. Uh, we're going to create a island and have a fish swim in front of it in a circle, and then swim around the island in a circle, and then jump up in the air, and return to the water just about the same spot it was. This is all according to the directions provided in the book. So we need to start with a water world. I'm going to spread a window out here so I can see the visualization more. I'm going to add objects. We're going to add a fish and a island. The island is under the environment. Add instance to world. Uh, we're going to go to ocean for the fish. There is a fish in the animal class, however, it's a very small fish. <clears throat> and I think these fish are much bigger, but still, we're going we're gonna to do the big fish. We're going to do this big fish. All right, so there's our fish. Uh, as you can see, the fish is not in the water, and fish can't swim unless they're in the water. So in the... Uh, move buttons over here. The move objects up and down. I'm going to select that. It's right next to the uh, move objects freely. Um, once you selected that, you are only allowed to move the object up and down. You can't. If you try to move left and right, it won't let you do it. So I'm going to move it down. I need to zoom out because I can't see or zoom down. And there we go. So now he's in the water. And that's good enough right there. Now I'm going to change my perspective. These controls are a little finicky. You got to get used to them. All right. Okay, it looks pretty good right there. So this fish is. We want it to circle in front of the island, and then we want it to circle around the island. And then we want it to jump up in the air and then return to the water in about the same spot that it was. So right now this fish is not really aligned uh, to our needs. So first thing I'm going to do is go back and move, uh, click and move the object freely so I can get a little bit closer to the island. I don't want it to be too far away. And then um, I'm going to say done. I've got it about where I want it. So once I click done, it um, goes back to your normal, normal view. Uh, with the fish still selected, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say methods. And I want, uh, well, you got to make sure you have the right thing selected. I thought I had the fish selected, but I didn't. So make sure you have the fish selected when you right click. You're going to go to methods and you want it, to, I want to turn it. And I'm going to turn it to the left about a quarter revolution. And that wasn't quite enough. Right, make sure you have it selected. Let me try to move it again. Turn to the left. This time, I'm going to do another instead of a quarter. I'm going to do like 0.1, and it's it's closer. So it, our fish is pretty much aligned in front of the island. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be exact, but you just need it to behave. You, you need the object, or in this case, the fish. We need it to behave like the problem suggests, and that's to do a circle in front of the island then a circle around it and then jump up and down. So we've got our fish and our island selected or insert, inserted into the world. So the first thing we're going to do is to make the fish swim in a circle. Now, right now in in, in chapter two, you haven't they haven't discussed um, a way to make a object rotate around another object. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, you can it, it does show you because that's what we're going to do when it rotates around the island. But you, what you can't do is you can't have an object rotate around an invisible object. So how do we get the fish to just go in a circle by itself? We could put an object here in the, in the center of its path and make it invisible. And then so when it swims, it looks like it's you know, swimming by itself. But in actuality, it's swimming around an object. But there's also another way to do it. Um, 
if we turn the fish and move at the same time, that will give us the illusion that it is turning. So we're going to bring a do together from the bottom, drag it into the window. Um, so we need it to make sure you have your fish selected. We want the fish to move, and we're going to move it forward. And all right, let's pick uh, let's pick five meters, and then we want it to turn. And we want it to turn either left or right, and we want it to do a full revolution. That would be a circle. And now let's just see what it does. That's not bad. It was a little quick. So what we could do is add a duration of like two seconds for both activities. Yep, there we go. Um, another thing is I, I think I want it to turn the other way because right the way it's turning now, it turns close to the island and you know the fish actually may hit the island if you didn't have it in the right spot. So instead of turning left, I'm going to say turn right. There we go. So we've got our first part done. Now we need to you know, have the fish swim around the island. So in this case what we're going to do is um, we're going to have it turn, but instead of moving it forward and turning at the same time like we did uh, for it to turn in front, we're simply going to have it look at I'm sorry, I picked the wrong one. That was move. I need to go turn. And we're going to go to the left this time. And we want it to be a full revolution again. And so what we're going to do is, under the more, we're going to do as seen by, and we're going to pick the island. And you have to select the entire island. And essentially what that does is, it turns in reference to how the island would see it. So if you are a person standing in the middle of that island, this fish is going to make is going to turn around you in, in, in a circular path for one revolution. So let's just see what happens when we do that. Well, as you can see, that worked really fast. So let's change the duration. We'll change it to, I think two seconds is not going to be enough. Let's change it to five seconds and just see. Circles, circles again. And that's that's pretty that's pretty good. I mean, it doesn't have to be um, you know exact. We just want it to swim around, and we don't want it to be too you know out of outlandish. We don't want the fish to be swimming um, you know faster than Superman or something like that. So all right, so now what do we do? So now we want to have the fish jump up in the air, and then it would jump back down or fall back down, and then return to the water in about the same spot. So we're gonna do um, a do together again because we want it to turn and move at the same time. So we need it to turn. And this time, instead of left or right, it's going to be either forward or backwards. So I'm, I've already played with it, and I'm pretty sure it's backwards to start with. Now, because it is perpendicular um, to the water, to get it so it's going straight up in the air, we only want it to do a quarter revolution. So uh, change that to quarter revolution. And then we need to have the big fish move. Make sure it's in the, two, the do together um, function. And we're going to move that up. Um, let's do other and let's do two meters. And let's see what that does. Ooh, that's not good. What did we do wrong? So, we have the turn backwards for a quarter revolution, and we had it move. Oh, I have it moving up. Well, moving up is wrong. We want it to move forward since we turned the fish, and now it's pointing upwards. We want it to move forward, which would be up. 
And so that's a very simple fix. Just change that direction. Now the fish swims around the island. And it kind of jumps up. It, it, it kind of does a, uh, um, like an arc. And, well, it, it's, it's okay. All right, so let's change the time, though. Because, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be quicker than that. Let's change it to, in fact, it's going to be really quick. Let's change it to 0 0.02. So the turn happens almost instantaneously. And then we'll do the move, and we'll do that in about half a second. There we go. Now it's not such a big arc. Um, when we had it at a longer time, uh, the, the longer the time, the bigger your arc's going to be. So now we have it kind of you know, up in the air. So that's good. So now we have to do another do together. So let's just make a copy of that. Um, now, and we're just going to reverse the, instead of turn backwards, we're going to turn forward because we're going to have to return to the water. But because it has to do a 180. It's pointing straight up at this point. Now we need it to point straight down. So that means we need to change it to a half a revolution, not a quarter revolution. We'll leave the time the same. Um, well, we can change that to 0.04 to, um, it's, we're turning, you know, instead of a quarter, we're doing it twice as long, which is a half. So let's do it uh, 0.04 instead of 0.02. And move forward two meters again. Leave that's going to be fine because once we turned it and pointed downwards, we still want to move forward. So let's see what happens there. This one's around the circle. This one's around the island. It jumps up in the air and returns. Now all we have to do is have the fish turn back right side up. So we're going to grab big fish turn, drag it into the method. And this one is going to be, uh, we need to turn backwards. And it's going to be a quarter revolution again. And we'll change that to 0.02. And let's see. Fish swims around in a circle. It swims around the island. It jumps up in the air and comes back down and comes back to exactly where it was. So obviously you could do, you know, a little bit more than that. You can make it a little bit more fluid. If you could play around with these, add some uh, more animations to it, more steps to make it turn, you know, more fluidly. But, you know, for the class at this early in the stage, we're just going to do something very simple. That's all I'm expecting of you. So as long as you have it, you know, set the fish in the water and it circles, you know, it does a circle. It doesn't go in a uh, rectangular um path and that includes or in front of the island and then the path around the island it must be a circle and um, we do need to use the as seen by for the for the island because the chapter or for the fish circling around the island because the chapter does reinforce that um, and then also to jump up we just want it to you know kind of be fluid as long as you know you can have it it could look a little bit sillier than that if it was, takes a little bit longer for the fish to jump up and turn or whatever but um, it's very important to have your code meet the minimum requirements um, put forth by whoever. In this case, the book has provided us um, a set of inputs, and so we need to make sure we, we match at least what that says. Um, in coding, um, that's very important. Otherwise, you'll run into behaviors that you're not expecting and will cause all sorts of problems down the road. Okay, so that's, that finishes this example. Uh, look for your next example um, a little bit later. Thanks.